Harper Slope from Blue Line Futures. He's in Chicago. Uh, what do you think about the meets here, Oliver? I mean, uh, are we going to continue this kind of action, or do you expect a breakout either way? Well, I, I would have expected this negative action over the past several weeks with the, the outside markets rolling over that the way that they have. I would have thought that that pressure live cattle futures a little bit more, but they've been lingering really at the top end of the, the multi-month range here, at least at the beginning of the month. We weren't really able to poke out above contract highs, and now you're probably starting to see some of that fear from the outside market seep into to the cattle futures, as well as we've got a cattle on feed report tomorrow. So you might be seeing some long-lived liquidation in this market. The 50-day moving average comes in at 149.50. It looks like we're slipping just below that. The 100-day moving average comes in closer to 148, which I think is a, probably a more significant technical level. Looking back over the last year, there's been a lot of interaction between buyers and sellers at that point. So still looking for a little bit uh, more weakness in live cattle here to wrap up the week.